what, what's been said after the Spurs game this week? Like you said, in spells you came back into it, but just a frustration with the, the nature of how the goals were conceded? Yeah, it's just, just cutting out little mistakes because um, they're costing us massively at the moment. And I think if we can cut them, cut them out, we are in games, we're competing, we're battling, um, we're creating chances. And now we're starting to take take some more of our chances. So as long as we can cut out these these little mistakes that are, are costing us, um, we're definitely definitely right in games. I mean, how how difficult is it essentially learning your trade at the highest level? There's yourself, the, there's there's Aaron, Ethan, Rian that, that are all there. It, it is a tough environment to, to develop in. Yeah, definitely. Um, but that's where the senior players are there to to help a lot of the younger players, and they do that very well. Um, like giving us confidence, um, belief, and, and that freedom to go and play. So I think it's it's a good squad. We've got a mixture of younger players, senior players. I think that's crucial in any team. Um, and yeah, that's that's just what we're we're trying to trying to get the best out of each other each day in training and and out on the pitch. With the situation in the league, have you felt a, an extra pressure collectively to sort of try and hit the ground running as much as you can? Um, yeah, we just try and, and forget about what everyone else is thinking about us and just play play how we play and do what we do. And I think we've started to do that a lot more recently and and caused, caused teams problems, scored a few more goals and got a couple of results. So I think the more we can do that, the, the better off we'll be. Do you feel like the, the amount of game time that you've got at Derby, clearly you're still a, a very young man anyway, has helped you to, to make that step up and, and what you've managed to achieve in the few games you have already? Um, yeah, definitely. Obviously, it was it was nothing like the Premier League. It's a completely different level, but just getting that experience and being in tough environments, every player goes through tough times, and it's just about how how you come out the other side of it. And we're in a tough time at the moment, but I'm sure we've got the squad, um, and the coaching staff, and and the club to to pull through. I mean, you obviously had to wait for your opportunity. Um, are you pleased with what you've been able to show in these these opening few games as a blade? You know, a couple of goals and everything else. Yeah, definitely. I'm I'm enjoying enjoying my football at the moment. Um, and there's a lot a lot of competition throughout the squad, and I think it's healthy competition because it helps everyone step their game up to the next level. And I think it's a team game, and and that's what you need. You need everyone performing at the highest level to give yourself the best chance of getting a result. You mentioned competition, of course. Uh, George Baldock is is. The, the competition, the principal competition for yourself. I mean, can can you learn from him? Is is that a healthy rivalry? He's clearly, he's he's sort of in the prime of his career right now. Yeah, definitely. George is a fantastic player. Um, he's been he's been brilliant with me since since I've come here, and I've learned learned a few things off him as well. Um, he's got a lot of experience too, and yeah, um, he's been brilliant since since I've come in and worked well together as well. So. Because a, a cup run and, and continuing to, to win games in the cup can be significant this year for the club, both in terms of the FA Cup and also with the league as well. Yeah, definitely. I think the cup's a big competition. Um, it's a great chance to to go far in it and compete against top teams and, and lower league teams as well. But as you know, in football, anything can happen. So it's important that you go into the games with the right attitude, right mentality, and and that will ultimately get you the result you want. With your experiences previously with Derby against Palace and with Manchester United, can that help you to get into the mindset of a Plymouth player this weekend and just what they're going to come to Bramall Lane and try to achieve? Yeah, definitely, because I've been in a similar situation to what to what they're coming into now when you're a lower league team playing against uh, top opposition. So, so yeah, I can I can sort of relate from where they're coming from, but then that also gives me like the experience from. From my point of view now, as a Sheffield United player, how we need to approach the game and, and make sure that we're all switched on and ready because it's going to be a tough game. FA Cup memories growing up, what what are the sort of games that, that stand out? Is it a competition you've sort of enjoyed watching over the years? Um, I have. I grew up in Reading, so I watched a few few games um, there, but no specific specific memories really now. Is it a competition that, that still holds a... a an extra bit of uh, sentiment with with people. I know we've had a discussion on our phone in this week with people uh, saying that it still has that little bit extra. Do you feel that as a, as a younger player? Yeah, definitely. Because ultimately, it's a cup competition, and any cup competition is is enjoyable. It's knockout stages, so you don't want to be knocked out early. You don't want to be knocked out at all. You want to win it. So it's, again, it's it's that extra bit of motivation because it's it's not the same as the Premier League each week. Um, 
because ultimately if you lose you're out so it's important that you go into it with the right mindset and, and attack the game